Do you want to be a tech and theater but still inexperienced? Come down to the Theater Club's tech workshops today. After school on the Black Box. Workshops will end at 3.15. Mandatory tech meeting this Friday if you are a techie for the fall set of Senior One Act. If you are still interested in becoming a techie for the fall set of Senior One Act, stop by and talk to the director. Now it's time for your joke of the day. Julie, did you know that I'm the most full person on campus? <laughs>
went off either by two or by four. That's because there was a couple mistakes on the answer key. So I went back and gave you guys credit for a few questions. If you are concerned about whatever your grade is or which ones you got wrong, you can talk to me later in class when we're doing the independent practice part. Yes? I know why we're all chatting today. Why? You expected pizza. Oh, I know. You guys were close. You guys were really close. Um, what is it? I have a question. I know. What was that? All right. We don't retake tests. We only retake quizzes. So, next time, though, I think you guys can get it. Um, I think the last few days of the unit, we were a little bit off, and I think that's why we why yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. That's good. Perfect. No. Yes. Angel was in here. He gets a good grade. Okay, maybe. If hey, Angel gets a good grade. That's a good point. Don't forget yeah. about <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Quiet down again. Um, I've also had a few questions. On the bottom of your scan drawn, you'll see like a whole bunch bubbled in. Um, that was for your free response questions. So to make my life easier, I gave you guys credit on your scan drawn for your free response questions. That's why those are bubbled in at the bottom. So. All right. Um, Abraham, can you collect those for me? Oh, and then we'll get started. Oh.
essential questions. Your voices are off. You guys are talking over me way too much already. Essential questions. Um, what is the difference between variation and adaptation? Those are going to be two of our big vocab words of the day. And how do these come about? And then we're going to talk about Charles Darwin later. And you guys are going to do a reading assignment on Charles Darwin. So, uh, he's a pretty cool dude. Exactly, good. I like what 
Albert Ooh. just said, shh. So that is very true that some people are going to object evolution because of their personal beliefs. A lot of it is religious beliefs. So yeah, that's a good, good point. Sabrina. Oh, I would say I think of a Big Bang Theory. Yeah, so that definitely plays into it, like kind of like the start of life, that sort of thing. All right, Abraham, what? Yeah. Then it started with like a bacteria or something like that. Like uh, something like a rock. It was like a rock. Kind of. Kind of. I want to hear, I heard Grace say something good when I walked back. Uh, where they already said that where we came from monkeys to evolve to humans. Good. So that's definitely going to. Grace is the only one talking. That's it. Um. That's definitely going to be a big part of evolution is like how humans came about, where we came from, that kind of thing. And one of the big points of contention with like religion goes is that a lot of people believe that um, humans were not made through the process of coming from apes and stuff like that. So that's one of the big points of contention. If that's what you believe in, that's fine. But there are other parts of evolution that you can still get on board with. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. Some people said aliens came down, like, yeah. and gave us well, it's, chromosomes. It's <laughs> <laughs> but the, evolution, the idea of coming from another species, is definitely a big part of evolution. Lines 
so that they could send phone calls to different places. So that was somebody's job. I hate to have that done. Um, yeah. Is it like the operator? Kind of like the operator. Yeah, operator. Yeah. 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 Alright, next you got the rotary telephone. Did anybody, has anybody seen those before? Yeah. 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 So in order to dial the number, you have to spin the thing. Yeah. Could you imagine texting like that? You guys would never get Alright, next we got the cordless phone, so that was kind of next step, and then we got the big cell phones that were like bricks that were like this big, they're like, you want some phone and you're like trying to call your friend, like this big, survive 
And these traits can help living things get food and survive better than others. That's kind of one of the key parts of evolution. If an organism is surviving and out-competing their friend with thinner fur, then they're going to be the ones passing on the alleles for thick fur. Thick fur is going to pass on until everybody has thick fur, that kind of thing. And we're going to get into this more and more and more as the week goes on, and this is kind of what our lab's going to be on. So, but in order, we're going to come back to this part too. In order for these new traits to come about, we have to have mutation. And so I, guys, I told you when we learned about mutations, I said not all of them are bad. Some of them are going to be good, and we're going to kind of talk about it during this unit. But this is where it's going to come, mutations are going to come back in as well.
next thing. Next big vocab word we need uh, is this word called variation. Variation is the vocab word that describes the differences between individuals in a species, right? And variation is going to lead us into our next vocab word. A variation is the differences in species. So if one um, bird has a little bit of longer beak than the other bird, that's a variation. If in butterflies, if one butterfly's wing color is a little bit different from another, that's variation, okay? <coughs> So variation simply just differences among organisms in a species. Are those like phenotypes? Yeah, phenotypes, yep. Yep, the phenotypes will be a little bit different. Good. Thank you. 